Hi everyone, this is James. I have a new video for you. It is called Rapture Victory. And I am releasing this video October the 12th, 2024. So let me begin. Now, if you watch my last two videos, one was Rapture, Feast Days, Calendar, and also there was a correction video. Again, I want to bring attention to the 13th, which I believe is the Day of the Atonement, October 13th, 2024. And the 16th, okay. Now, 16, the biblical meaning linked to 16 is love. And also the meaning, biblical meaning linked to 17 is victory. Okay. Now, let me go to the next slide. You're going to see why this could be very important. Now, again, I want to share 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 1. This is the third time I am coming to you. In the mouth of two or three witnesses shall every word be established. Now, if you take a look here, Genevieve Brazel, she put out this video this morning. And this morning, I also woke up very early before 6 o'clock. And I felt that there was a mistake in my last video. And it turns out I did phrase it incorrectly and that's why I created that correction video but that was only part of what I felt the Lord wanted me to find out and what I found today was absolutely incredible well actually the day I'm releasing this video is the 12th it was actually the 11th where I found some very important information and Genevieve Brazil a wonderful sister in Christ she kind of refreshed my memory on certain things, okay, through the power of the Holy Spirit, watching her video. So I highly recommend you watch this video, and you're going to see how the rest of this video makes more sense for you, okay? Uh, I'm going to leave the link in the description under this video, okay? Please highly recommend you watch that. And also, my brother Patrick at Hourly Watch. He's done a fantastic job, just like Genevieve. And he released this video, I think this is about two or three videos ago. It is uh, 1017 Full Moon, the Sarah Jacob is on the snake. Okay, I highly recommend that you watch that video. And again, this video is going to make a lot more sense. And just like this verse, I really believe that the Lord has basically raised us up for this time like many other brothers and sisters you know and servants of Jesus Christ to do this and prove that he is behind the scenes that the power of the holy spirit okay just like if you see Ephesians chapter 2 verses 10 okay and also Proverbs chapter 25 verses 2 okay i highly recommend that you look up those verses and you can see how this is possible so I'm going to leave a link under this video for Brother Patrick's video, okay? I highly recommend that you watch that too. So let me continue. Okay, I want to bring your attention to this image here. Now, I know this looks very confusing, okay? But this is a matrix I received back May 25th, 2021, okay, over three years ago. And you're going to see how this may indicate that we are really close to the rapture but again i'm not pointing a date out in particular but i'm just showing you what i'm finding okay and also other brothers and sisters are finding okay so that's what i'm doing and that's what i feel the lord wants me to do so that's what i'm going to do now again i've created many many videos about this matrix if you watch some of my earlier videos you're going to see how long i've been creating these videos really the last year in particular oh it's been over a year but it was over three years ago again when i received this and i just wanted to show you this clock here now this is one of the original clocks that i created and you're gonna i'm gonna show you in a minute you know how this could you know integrate with this or work together but this one it was actually even before this but just to give you proof that i didn't I didn't just make this up, you know, a couple of weeks ago or yesterday. 
Um, this is back in 2022, November the 21st, so almost two years and a bit over a uh, well, month and a half or so, it's going to be two years. Okay, how, how old this is, but again, it's been over two years since I created the first one, watch, okay? And I just want to read this here. Right at the top of this matrix, I can see the watch and I will see the watch maker, okay? And what I want to do is I'm just going to take this watch right here. I'm going to flip this around. Okay. And I'm going to bring this out too right now. Okay. Now this October the 16th, 2024, this is in the, in the heavens. You have that full moon and it happens to be right on the band of Pisces, okay, right there. Now, if you take a look at, at this, I'm just going to stack it together, and you can see how this kind of comes together. This actually means we moved over a little bit, but you just rotate that goes kind of in the fish, okay, and you can see how. Right here, this it looks like a moon right here on Pisces, right here, going going up. It's aligned with this sword. And it also looks like two moons right here. It's like a reflection in this sword. It looks like two moons. Okay. And then you have 17 right here. And you have 416. And you're if you watch Genevieve's video, you're gonna see, especially near the end, why that's significant. And I'm gonna also show you more about 416 in a bit too but 17 right here okay and again this looks like this is the moon on pisces right here okay right when this is actually taken from stellarium for that day okay and you have 17 right here you have a 10 right here you have 10 right here so 10 17 okay and this even looks like this is God's fingerprint, the golden spiral, but that looks like the green comet that's flying around right now. Okay. Um, so that's, I just want to show you that real quick, but there's some, there's something else. Now this is another version. You can see clearly when this version, whoops, when this version was modified, October 2023. So a year ago, okay. Um, and if you take a look here, I just want to show you something. And you have rapture right here. You have 416. You have, um, this is actually 15 here, 416, and then four, or sorry, five right here. And then you got 17. So there'll be 16, 17, like 17th day. 17th, it says right on it, clearly. Um, but take a look at this. If you watched my previous videos, you've seen this before. And this is, um, I think it's uh, Truth in Christ. He created a video about the 153 fish miracle, okay, recorded in John chapter 21, okay. And th this pyramid, okay, it's a triangular number is uh, 153 okay now 17 is right at the top okay 17 is right at the top and i felt the lord wanted me to put this right here okay over a year ago and 17 again could be a very high watch time and that means victory and then you have 17 right here but right in that small you can't see it it's really small but there's 17, and that was, um, I think it's Brother uh, Brendan, I believe his name. Um, that was part of his image. Like, I didn't put it there. That was 17 was there. Um, so that is, you know, again, this is now it's something else I just remembered. Um, is the annual eclipse, the ring of fire, which happened. I was actually on a wedding or at a wedding that day, uh, one of my nieces. And um, 
that particular day, that was when the ring of fire happened. Okay, I was at that wedding that night. Okay, and and the anniversary of that ring of fire eclipse, and it will be the anniversary of my niece's wedding, wedding uh, first wedding anniversary, is October the 14th. So absolutely incredible. You know, I, I don't think you, know, you can make this up. So you have, okay, so that would be the 15th, 14th, right here, 15th, 16th, you have 4 16th. Again, you're going to see why the significance of 4 16 if you watch Genevieve's video and I'll, if you keep watching near the end of this video. Okay. Now, there's something else I want to show you. On this watch, um, actually, they're covered up on some of these watches, but even on this one here, you got the alpha and omega sign right here. I felt the Lord wanted me to put that there. Okay. And Again, you have the alpha right here, and you have the omega. It's partly covered up on you. Oh, no, here it is. Now, again, let me just read this again. I can see the watch, and I will see the watchmaker. Well, this is pointing. Okay, if you take a look. You know, this triangle here. If you line it up with this other triangle, actually, right here, this is, I declare the end from the beginning. I am the Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. And Revelation chapter 22, verses 12 through 13, this is what the, the Lord wanted me to add to this matrix. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. And right here, you see the beginning and the end right here. And you right here, you got twos kind of cover up. We got a two and a nine. There's a crown on that two, actually. And there's a nine. So you put those together, you got 29. And then you have 17 here. You got 711. You got 911 right here. So again, you have 17. You have 711. And you have 9-11. Now take a look at Genesis chapter 7, verses 11. And again, you have that 17 again. And right here, it says the key, the door, is Jesus or Yeshua in Hebrew. And this is one of the reasons why I got the idea to put this here. Well, it's the Holy Spirit. Okay, to put this fish here and this right here, this quote that I felt you know, the Lord gave me, um, it's probably about seven years, probably five, at least five years ago, I believe. Um, it just came in my head, you know. And then the Lord wanted me to write this down like three years ago in this matrix, okay. Um, so, you know, it is, you know, you, you can't make this up. And I was something else before I move on. This is the um, okay. This is Salvation Mountain. And again, if you watch Genevieve's video, you're going to see why that's significant. Now, I already picked up this out for this video before I watched Genevieve's video. Before I prepared this video, okay, the, the things I already had it copied in my cloud storage, I already picked them out. Okay, and. If you watch Genevieve's video, you're going to see why that's pretty interesting. Because you have Salvation Mountain right here. If, okay, she had a dream about being on a mountain. And if you take a look, Genesis 7-7, and, and Noah went in and his sons and his wife and his sons' wives and him into the ark because of the waters of the flood. And you see right here, you got 7-7, seven, 7-7 seven, seven, seven right here. Okay. Yeah, and this was, you know, back, this was modified October 20, 2023, so around a year or so ago, okay? Um, I mean, there's there's more I could show you here, but um, if you remember this, 26 and 29, 26 is God's number, 29 means resurrection, okay? You're, just remember that for 
later in the video. Okay, and there's also look like a pen fountain pen tip or a rocket right here. I just want to point that out. Oh, there's something else that I just can't. This it's one other thing I wanted to say. You have a six and a six right here. This line's right up here. You have 66 right here. You have 33 right here in this equation. 33 partly covered. Okay. And then you have 911 over here. So, so let me continue. I've, I've got still more to show you. Now, if you watch my previous videos, I've talked about this sticky note that I put up. I felt the Lord wanted me to put this up over three years ago now. And I've actually created videos that I talked about the sticky note and I actually had an image of this sticky note. So, so this is not the first time and I'm not making this up, okay? So let me share these verses. First Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 16 and 17. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Now, again, when I watched Genevieve's video this morning, the Holy Spirit reminded me about this note, and that's why I'm including this sticky note in this video again. Okay. I uh, first Thessalonians 4:13, and I think she read to 18. I'm not 100 percent But you know, you can't make this up, you know. And the Lord has saved us people. For a time like this, just like in the story of Esther, okay, in Purim. And that's what the, one of the things the Lord said to me. It would be a, a lot like Purim. Okay. We have such a great, great God. You know, what is impossible for a God? Okay. God can do anything. You know, if it's his will, it will be done. Now, after I had almost all this presentation finished okay when i put it in the powerpoint presentation i got this idea to look back in 1974 and see what was happening october the 16th and october the 17th and this is what i found okay it was the seventh month on the fourth day it was 416 okay 416 now, again, I just shared 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 16 and 17. Okay. And this also lines up with my watch. The fifth hour, it was like the fifth hour and it was 17. You know, again, 416 also. You know, I can go back real quick. Right here, you have 416. Okay, and you have five. 17 you have three into the five too also not 100 percent sure what that meant but again you have 416 now this doesn't happen that often okay that they line up like this and, um because i looked i looked at different years now this is in 20 what is this 2023 and again this is when i i felt the lord wanted me to update or create these watches or modify them you know different versions and add different things and it so happens that year too 2023 okay you have sorry it's really hard you can't really see it very well in this image but 15th and the 16th and you have an annual eclipse that happened according to on the Torah calendar on the 29th and 30th 29th and 30th now You know, you got the 16th and 17th that lines up here. And then you have the 26th and 29th here. It's interesting how, you know, how that comes together like that. Now, is it possible that the rapture could happen 
October the 16th or 17th or October 29th and 30th? I don't know. You know, I, you know, the rapture might not happen this month or might not happen this year. I don't know, but I really believe that it is and it's soon. But, uh, you know, only our Lord knows for sure. But this, you know, I feel the Lord wants me to get this video out and he wants me to share this information. And that's what I'm doing. You know, and I, I know it's on the, on, uh, I guess you'd say on the fringe. And, you know, it sounds like totally unbelievable. Um, but uh, I know what happened. I know it was the Lord that gave me this information. And, you know, it, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, I'm not concerned if, if, you know, many people believe me or not at this point in time, God will add the increase. You know, if this is true, God will add the increase. His will will, his will, will be done. Okay. And, you know, if this proves, you know, that he's behind the scenes and it turns out that um, the rapture is recorded in this, you know, may honor and glory be given to the Lord Jesus Christ, you know, shows his power, his glory, his sovereign sovereignty. And, you know, I'm just a humble servant of the Lord, a wretched man that was saved by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. So, you know, I can, you know, I, I know the Lord loves everybody and he wants everyone to be saved that can be saved. So please take this serious. Okay. Let people know, you know, the rapture's coming. Leave left behind letters. I, I, a few videos ago, about three videos ago, I, I left a left behind letter. You can, if you don't like that one, make up your own or, or kind of use the template maybe. But, um, you know, I really feel this close. Uh, and I'm not the only one. There's many brothers and sisters that feel the same. And there's just so many signs in the heavens, too, and what's happening on the earth. But uh, I feel the Lord wanted me to include Isaiah chapter 46, 10 again. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. And I felt the Lord wanted me to include John 3, 16 again. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And that is your work, to believe on Jesus Christ, or Yeshua, in, in Hebrew. And I feel the Lord wanted me to also include Ephesians chapter 2, 8 through 9. For by grace are ye saved, through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Trust in Jesus Christ's finished work on the cross. Trust the precious blood for the atonement of your soul and for the forgiveness of your sins, if you believe. So this video and other videos, or at least part of the videos that I've created, are going to be loaded on this website. It's https colon slash slash 011235.net. Thank you for watching. God bless you. I love you all.